What's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP and I have another really cool fiber laser video for you today. It's with business cards. Like I mentioned in the last video I'm using these black high glossy business cards I got off Amazon. They're really cool. Last night I was on a live stream with my friends and I laser engraved a ton of really cool pictures and I'd like to show them to you. So we'll get into it right after this. Thank you for sticking around everybody. Yeah, today's video is about my Houtian 60 watt JPT MOPA fiber laser that I have. It is an amazing machine. This is 60 watts. It comes with three different lenses. For this video I'm using my smallest lens, which, which I believe is like a 110. Let me take a look. See what we got here. Yeah, it's called an F160. So that's my Dash one, that's a 110 after. That's my 110 lens. That's what a fiber laser lens work looks like. They, this one came with three different ones. And this is my smallest one. But let me jump into the website and the light burn. I'll show you some of my settings. What worked for me. Now these won't work for everybody, but they might get you close. If you're new to fiber laser engraving, if you have a 60 watt fiber laser, you're like, damn, I just don't know what to do with my settings. Can somebody help me? Well, this video can help you. It won't be exact, but it might get you close. And when I first started doing pictures on um, business cards, it was coming out really black. I was cranking up the power. I got some recommended settings for my friends. I couldn't even get close. And then my friend Patrick said, hey, your timing might be off. So he referred me to uh, Maker Theory, a man by the name of Geo, his YouTube channel. I reset the timing. I got my timing settings set. If you check out his video, he explains how to go through it and light burn second half of the video. He's coming out with a newer video also probably explaining it. And helps you get your timing settings better on your fiber laser. By doing that, wham bam, these pictures are coming out really killer. Here's an example of an end in cheap that I did. But we're going to jump into laserpicks.com. I'll show you where I got all these free files at. You can buy them or you can get them free. Almost. Well, anyway, let's jump in on my computer and we'll get going. Okay, here's your, their website, laserpicks.com. And for the video, I just went over here where it says paid and free. Click all. Let's go to the free section. You just kind of scroll down. You can find different images here. Whether you want to engrave them on brass coins, do a deep engraving, or uh, you know, random pictures. There's many, 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 many. Get rid of that ad. Okay, here's a wolf that I had done, for instance. Let me click on it. Now you see you got original and you got the prepared version if you want to engrave it. Okay, I just downloaded the original. For every one that I did, I simply downloaded the original free file. And then I dropped it in Lightburn. I sized it. Picked my green layer, which had my presets. And uh, I was good to go. So that's pretty much how simple that is. And here's an example of one of them I did. I'm in Lightburn. I'm on my green layer right here. I sized it to 54 millimeters by 86 millimeters, the size of the business card. Let me double click on it, I'll show you my other settings. I called my green layer business card, uh, black business card, so I know what that's for when I throw something in there. Speed 1000, max power 10%, frequency 50, Q pulse 200. And I'm at a 45 degree angle, 453 DPI. This is what currently works for me. You know, you, this might be different for you, I'm using Atkinson. But basically, that's kind of what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah. So, then it's just a matter of, you know, burning it. It's very quick, and uh, I just move on to the next one. Laser. They're number one crew when it comes to precision. 
Shining so bright, we're getting high on technology. No surprise, free DHP. We're taking flight from the glittering casinos to the desert sun. We're making magic with the things we've done. Laser and gray. casinos to the desert sun we're making magic with the things we've done laser Okay, let's take a look at all the pictures that we have here. And these are on high glossy black business cards like I mentioned. And that just came out amazing. And all these ones that I'm showing here are the free ones you can download. So you can engrave them on your fiber, your diode. But just look at that quality. That is just shockingly perfect. Beautiful. Very happy with my settings. Can the settings be approved upon? Maybe. But I'm very happy with the way they are right here. I have no reason to try to change anything or try anything new. So 
tell them I download these pictures, drop them in a light and all I do is resize them. I pick my green layer, which has my presets, and I called that layer black business cards. Very cool. Yeah, the reason I've done this video today is those of you that missed the live stream last night when I was engraving all this stuff in the fiber laser, I thought you might want to see it. But yeah, I'm excited to use it. I'm very, very, very happy having that fiber laser and uh, making great content with it. And as I go forward, I'm learning how to work with different types of materials and so I can put out great content for each and every one of you. And if you're interested in a Haltian 60-watt fiber laser, there'll be a link down below. You can get a hold of Pascal Lou, and he will give you an awesome deal. Just let him know Jerry from 3DHP referred you, and he will hook you up. And if you have a, if you don't have a Haltian 60-watt, but you have a 60-watt fiber, and you're like, well, I don't know what to do. What do I need to do? My settings, nobody will help me. Oh, my God, you're about to pull your hair out, which I don't have any. You know, maybe this video will help you. Everybody's laser is different. Exact settings, there's no such thing as exact settings for the same machine. The two people have the same identical machine, same everything. The, the results will be different. But maybe this will help you get closer. Maybe these settings can help you a little bit. Maybe you'll go, oh my God, honey, or whoever, I have to have a fiber laser. This is so cool. You know, I hope, I, you know, I hope this helps you out. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you to all, all my YouTube channel members. I'll list them here on the screen. Thank you, everybody, so much. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this great content. I'm trying to grow my channel. I just got over 6,000 subscribers. I wish it was a lot more, but it is what it is. So please subscribe and share. Subscribing is free to do so. If you'd like to become a channel member, you can do that also. And what does that get you becoming a channel member? It helps to support 3DHP and all that I do. And at the end of every video, I will list your name as being a channel member and, you know, supporting me. But I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you have an awesome day. And until the next one, guys, uh, you know, happy laser engraving, and give me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I love hearing from each and every one of you, and I try to answer every single comment. So everybody have an awesome day. Later.